Alright, today we're going to make a basic bowl. The first step is to pound your clay into a beautiful ball, making sure that there's no pockets and or pieces. Then you're going to throw down the clay perfectly in the center of your wheel right on your back. You have your back down here, which is your black board. That's your back. So perfectly in the center, you're going to hear a loud snap. And mine's slightly off center, so if it's slightly off center, you want to pull it. Slide it into place. You don't want to pick it up because you wanted that snap so it'll stay down. So you can firm it up into the center, put it down a little bit, make sure it's there and secure. Okay, so you have your beautiful ball in the center of your back. You want to wet your one hand with some water, run it over your ball and touch your other hand. Do that one more time. Water, clay, hand. And that's pretty much all the water that you'll need. I have about two inches of water in this bucket. I don't have a lot. I set my wheel to a comfortable speed. Not going too fast. When I'm happy with my speed, I take my foot off the pedal. So I'm not leaving my foot on the pedal. That way my feet are perfectly anchored to create stability. My elbows are in, um, resting on my thighs and my knees. And then that gives me the pressure. And the first step is to comb up. And that's basically wedging your clay. What I'm doing is creating an actual comb, hence combing up. You can rest your thumbs over the top, which helps keep your top in line. And I'm pulling with my right hand into my left palm. So I'm squeezing and pulling up that way. I'm not literally grabbing the piece and pulling it off of the bat. I'm putting pressure. I'm squeezing my right hand into my left hand, which is moving the clay. Resting my thumbs on the top to keep everything in order. And I'm moving with the rotation of the wheel. So you don't need to go very fast with your wheel. You want to move. The wheel goes around once. You hold it for one rotation. Then you move up as it goes around again. Then you move up again. So you're constantly moving in rotation. scraps that you might end up squeezing off. You can just create a nice little pile there for a nice easy cleanup. What you want to do now is comb down and that's going to center your piece. You're putting the palm of your hand on the center of the comb. You're using your left hand as a support. Just holding it here. It's not doing anything. It's just holding it here and you're keeping elbows down, putting pressure, more pressure, directly on the center of your piece. So centering with your palm, your left hand is holding. And slide your right hand down to the side. Peace. Just be beautiful. 
perfectly centered. So you're going to use your left thumb, your right index finger, and your sponge. You're, you're working, if this is 12, this is 3 o'clock, this is 6 o'clock, and this is 9 o'clock on your wheel. You're working at 4 o'clock. Using the sponge at 4 o'clock on your wheel, come to the center of your piece. You can relax your left hand around your bowl. And you push down on a 45 degree angle. You're not pushing all the way down through your bowl because obviously you want your bowl to have a bottom. And you want to leave enough for trimming up afterwards. So 45 degree angle. Okay. So opening the floor, you do two over two. Two over two. And you're literally not pushing down. You're not pulling any weird way. You're literally just pulling straight back to your belly button. So the hole that you've created, you're keeping that hole and you're opening up your floor, pulling straight back to your belly button, two over two. What you want to think about is opening up your floor, not to make a plate, we're making a bowl. So about four inches, if that, depending how, how much clay you have on your wheel. Pulling back, pushing down, just pulling back to my belly button. I'm in no hurry to pull back very fast. Just nice and comfortable. So the diameter of my bowl, looking pretty good right now. about that big. So that's about four inches. What you want to do then is compress your floor. So with the sponge, push down in the center of your bowl, drag the sponge, pressing down a nice comfortable pressure to compress the floor to get out any creases. This also prevents S cracks in the drying process. So make sure you do a nice compression. The next step is to pull your walls. So you can do like the bunny um, grip, or you can call it a T-Rex grip. What you want to do is have your two fingers, your thumb, you overlap it to lock it so it's strong. Elbows on your legs. You're coming down at it like this. You're not coming on an angle. You're coming more down. And what you're going to do is pinch these two fingers together. And you're just going to, to start in the center. You're starting at 4 o'clock on your wheel. But to start, just place them down at the bottom. Let your fingers get comfortable. Start to apply a bit of pressure. Now keep that pressure consistent and pull up in rotation with your wheel. Okay, now that I've come to the top, 
After each rotation, I'm going to compress my lip. So what you want to do is let the sponge run through this nice open, if you hold the sponge like this, let the sponge, let the bowl, sorry, run through your sponge, pinching with your left hand to keep, make sure you're not applying pressure, but you're just giving it a bit of guide because you're going to lightly push down with your sponge to compress your lip. Again, dampen your sponge, pinching with your left, run the sponge on the top. It's nice to try and get all your pulls done in about three pulls. Just for a simple pull. Again, I'm compressing my lip, pinching, letting the sponge run through. I'm just being picky with the shape of my bowl. I think I'm satisfied. 
and I think that's good. So I'm going to press my floor again. Beautiful. So, you can clean off your back. You can see, I really have minimal cleanup because I, I didn't soak the clay. I just used enough water so my hands wouldn't stick. So you can take these sides off and you can wash them. The next thing to do would use wire cutters to slice off the bowl from here. When it's a little bit firmer, like leather hard, or just before leather hard, we can flip the bowl upside down and we'll trim the bottom. All right, we are ready to trim our bowl. So what we want to do is cut it off the bat first. The first thing I want to do is wrap the wire around these two wooden handles. So then they're a comfortable distance where I can press down on the bat and wiggle it under and keep it tight on the bat. So you're getting a nice, clean slice. Like so. Um, you don't need pot lifters. You can use these two little fingers here. And you slide under. And up. Like so. And then we're going to flip it over onto our back. And we're cutting this off so we can anyway, so we, we don't it's okay to pick it up from there. What you want to do is try and center it on your bat now. And make sure it's perfectly centered. So our bottom of our bowl will be perfectly centered as well. Okay. Perfect, let's put it back on the wheel. Alright, so let's double check make sure this is perfectly centered. Start your wheel to a comfortable speed. Let's test. Um, I'm going to anchor my arm onto my leg and I'm going to place my finger in one specific spot and don't move it. And I can see it's not centered because the bowl, one side keeps coming back around to touch my hand. So I do want to move it over. kind of see where it is too, so let's try that. That's good. So let's roll out some coils. Roll out some coils to anchor your piece down. They don't have to be long a couple going. Um, place them kind of like in a peace sign. So you have three solid points where it's anchoring your bowl down. You pinching. Push down at the bottom to push it onto your bat. You're not pushing it onto the bowl because you don't want to really attach that clay to the to your bowl. You're just using it as stability so when the bowl goes around it'll stay in place as we cut it. So the first tool we want to use is our loop tool which is the bigger wire tool. Set a comfortable speed. No need to go too fast. So what we're doing is taking off some excess clay. I'm not putting too much pressure on, I just want to go nice and slow so I don't take too much off. And I want to make sure that I'm keeping this hand anchored and not pushing too hard at times. I want to keep consistent. Any excess clay, you can catch it as it comes off and throw it off to the side. And right now I'm just having it on a nice angle, about a 45 degree angle. And 
and I'm just trying to match up, take off that excess bit and match it up to the side of the bowl that I have. smooth off the sides. You can go as far down as you want on the sides to clean it up. Come back up to the center and now I'm just going to lightly push more so onto this front edge of it to get a nice little lip which will start the foot. Just be careful and go slow. And don't take off more than you need to. Okay. I'm going to take my ribbon cutting tool, I'm taking the round edge first. So I'm starting in the center. Obviously, elbows are anchored on my legs. Starting in the center, pushing down and slowly working out to the edge. I'm going to gradually take away more from the inside. And you can see if, if you have problems with it kind of pulling at times, and that's going to make it uneven. So you want to keep this as strong as possible. If you want to hold this wrist and anchor it down, that works too. Keep it nice and strong and in place. This is creating a perfect spot to write your initials or name and date, date your bowl, write the date on it. So that way you always remember when you created it. Okay, so now this piece is kind of messy up at the top here. I'm going to grab the other side of my ribbon tool, which is the flatter side and just run it along the top. I'm not taking too much off because I don't want to risk making it uneven, so I'm just holding it nice and steady. And then I'm going to take this rounded edge again just to clean up those bits, those scraps that are still in there. Um, use your finger if you want, and uh, don't press too hard because you don't want to push all the way through your bowl. You can also use a sponge. Kind of clean up any pieces that you don't like. Make it nice and smooth. Um, grab this guy again. We're going to start to clean up this edge now. So from the outside, you have the flat edge of your ribbon cutting tool from the outside, holding it in one spot, just making that edge nice and sharp to create that nice foot. And again, let's do that from the inside. use my hand instead to smooth it out even more and come around and pinch this side down. So now you can just nitpick and gradually get off any extra bits that you don't want. And you have a beautiful foot.